Say Coca-Cola? Nobody knows. You let me know. Somebody will tell me. Uh, all right. It's another day. How you doing? I hope you're doing okay. If you're watching this video close to the release date, you're probably like me and you're still in a state of kind of a lockdown or it's requested that you don't go outside very much. So um, I've done a number of mini amp videos in the past, like uh, direct comparisons and shootouts and stuff like that. I thought it was time to do a little review of three little mini amps that I have in here. Because maybe you need something small or you want something small and uh, you've got all this time now to practice but maybe you're at home maybe you've got family around maybe you've got people around and you want to keep it quiet but you want something that sounds good so these three little mini amps and this isn't don't take this as a sales thing i'm not a sales guy i bought these all myself um except sorry the the uh the new x they sent me that one uh, i bought these other two i'm such a liar no i'm not a liar anyways the point i'm trying to make is and my brain rambles on. Um, this isn't a salesy thing. This is just to show you three that I would pick if I had to go pick uh, a little mini amp. And um, so yeah, I'll talk about each one and then I'll actually, um, usually I do like a tone comparison and uh, I try to show which one is better and you can decide. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to say one is better than the other. I'm just gonna go and dial in my favorite tones and you'll see that in another part of the video. Uh, dial in my favorite clean sound, favorite dirty sound, and then you can decide if you like these amps or not. And um, if you want to get them, I do have an Amazon affiliate thing. Again, I'm, I'm trying to say I'm not salesy, but if you want to get them, I'll have links to where you can buy them. So in the description somewhere, right? So let's start off in no particular order. First, I'll just say, like I've done a number of videos, um, like I've done some videos where I say the three best mini amps, and uh, this isn't that kind of video, but I'll just say off the bat, my favorite of these three, let's, let's see what they are. First of all, this is the Boss Mini Katana. Katana? Katana? A lot of slack for saying Katana. And that's just what I say. Mario, Mario, right? It, you know, it's, it's just how I, how I talk sometimes. Um, I'm from Canada, which is Canada. Uh, getting off the topic here. Okay, Boss Mini Katana Mini. This is probably my favorite because, and this is the simple reason, it's uh, got the least options and it's got a three-way EQ, which I really like. And it's got a good size, and I think it's 7 watt. I'll put the specs up right here. Look at the specs. Oh, I didn't know it had that. Yeah, I did. I'm just pretending I'm looking at words floating. This is all important stuff. Anyways, get out of here. Um, I'll put the link to the, the official site. You can check out the specs. So Boss Katana Mini, that's my favorite. If I had to get rid of all of these because for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, New X. This one I would say is the most technologically advanced because it's got like a Bluetooth. This is the Mighty Light BT and the BT stands for Bluetooth. So if you have a smartphone, if you have an iPad, if you have some kind of uh, smart toaster, smart fridge, you just connect it to this. I'm just kidding. I don't know if your smart fridge will connect to this. I don't even know if there's a smart toaster yet. I imagine there will be. Um, there's an app that lets you connect to this. You have drum tracks, you have backing tracks, you can change all the effects, built-in effects. Really, really cool. If you just wanted to get one amp and that sounds good, that's, that's the important thing. These all sound good to me, right? Um, you wouldn't need any pedals or anything like that. It's all there. The reason I don't go to this amp as much is because of that reason. It's got too much stuff. And I have that, that problem, I call it uh, option paralysis, where you just got too many options and you don't know what to do. You don't just plug in, you don't just play. So that'd be my, uh, you know, my pick for best technological one. And you'll get to hear it. Um, I'll dial in some dirty tones. I'll dial in some clean tones. And uh, they're getting a little dusty. I haven't touched them for a little while. But... And then uh, this one you might not recognize because it looks different. It's just a different color. 
This is the Black Star Fly 3. This is kind of the one that started, I'd say, um, started off making mini amps sound good. Is that a thing? A lot of mini amps just sounded like toys. It didn't sound very good. Marshall makes one. Don't even, don't even, don't even look at it. No, don't try. Fender makes a bunch. They're not good. And I like those companies. I got nothing against Marshall and nothing against Fender. They just don't make good mini amps. And uh, you know, there's a market for that. So I've owned this one a couple times. This one also comes in like a stereo pack where you can like have a second one that connects with an RJ11 cable, which is a phone cable. It's kind of interesting. And you can use it as like stereo desktop speakers. So this one's pretty uh, versatile. The other thing I'll mention is they're all battery powered. Um, I think they're all six double A's or you can plug them into power as well. It's up to you. I like having them on battery just because I can carry them around. This one is my least favorite tone, it, but it has really good low end. And maybe if you're into like metal or something, this one might be the best for you. I just find their, um, it's called ISF, the Blackstar ISF. It's a, it's a single tone knob and it's basically muddy to high, kind of high, um, high, tops. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. It's kind of muddier than I'd like, even with the uh, the highs turned up all the way, but you don't have much control with that because it's a one band EQ. So um, this one has a delay built in. The Boss Katana has a delay built in. That's it for effects. So simplicity, this would be my second one that I'd go to. And they sound really good. And uh, normally you see this in a black plastic, which uh, makes me think of this. I would say... Uh, it's pretty close. They're almost using the same mold. And I know nothing about manufacturing, but it's pretty, pretty close. I'd say Nux. It's not Nux. It's New X. Let's look at that close up. I'd say they uh, saw this one and thought, hey, what can we do with that? Like the layout of the controls is pretty similar. Um, you know, hey, there's lots to be said about these. Um, there's, there's obviously other mini amps out there. I don't know them all, but... These are three of my favorites. And uh, I tried to stick to the three little small plastic ones. There's other mini amps that are they're good as well. Uh, Vox makes a bunch. I just don't have them. I have a, a Vox Mini Mini 3 G2. It's actually my son's, so he's using it right now. So it's it's a lot bigger though. And it's uh, like more like a proper amp and it's got uh, a lot of built-in effects. But getting off top topic, um, let's hear them. We'll uh, plug them in. I won't put any pedals through it or anything like that. And then you can uh, say, you know, like maybe you want to get one of these for your lockdown time or for practicing. Uh, they also have headphone outs, right? So you can plug them in and they sound pretty good with headphones too. I've used them. Enough about me talking about them. Let's hear them.
And we're back. I hope that was great. Just a word from our sponsor, me. Hello. There, that's the word from our sponsor. He wasn't sure what he was going to do. Um, all right, now I leave it up to you. Which one did you like of the three? And, you know, it's really hard to do shootouts with these mini amps. It seems simple, but a lot of times I'll do them and people will complain that I didn't have the, the knobs dialed in the right way. So you can never win, right? Just get one for yourself and try it and then see what you like. Uh, I think any of these three, you can dial in something that you like and it'll work for you and it'll sound good. And when I mean sound good, I'm not just making that up. I'm not trying to sell anything. Please click on the links in the affiliate section description to buy them now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't even know if I'll have links. I'm just saying that right now. I haven't added them yet. If there is links to things. I don't even know if these, these amps are on uh, Amazon. I'm just saying that, you know. Um, stop defending yourself. Who cares? Okay, again, I don't even know how those are showing up there. Ah, okay. That's fine. You know what they look like. You know what they, they sound like now. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments which one uh, which one would you pick if you had to pick one. Um, oh, I didn't mention prices. They're pretty. They're overall pretty, pretty low price. I mean, relative. Everything's relative, right? Uh, I think your Blackstar is the lowest, and I always have the trouble of converting Canadian to American. I think Blackstar is eighty nine Canadian, might be like fifty nine American. If I'm guessing. I think the Boss is one thirty nine Canadian, probably one nineteen American. And the new X, I think it's just over 100. I can't remember. Uh, a lot of the prices change over the years. Uh, every year there's an increase in price, right? Things don't usually go down. So check your prices. Um, but overall, yeah, like you can't go wrong with any of these, any three of these. That's, you have my word on that. I like these amps. That's why I've kept them. And uh, they need to get more use and they probably will with uh, the nicer weather, I'll probably have them on the patio outside in the backyard or something like that. That's the great thing. They're very, very portable. Throw them in your backpack. I mean, we're not going anywhere right now, but I mean, if, you have, uh, if you're lucky enough to have a backyard that you can go out on or a patio or a porch or something like that, um, take advantage of that. Yeah, try to get one of those and plug it in. Let me know which one you like the best. I can't think of anything else to say that's useful right now because everything I've said has been useful so far. What is he saying? Um, Just trying to pad the time, pad time, pad tie, pad tie, bad jokes, bad joke, dad jokes. So I'm full of it, I'm just full of it. All right, uh, I'm Landon. Thanks for checking out my channel. I didn't mention at the beginning. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click like on the video and share this stuff out. Let's grow my channel. Let's get this thing going. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be it for today. If you have any recommendations or anything, you want to know anything about these these amps, leave me a comment. I respond to every comment unless it's uh, some kind of insult talking about my personal something, something, blah, 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 blah. You know, the usual stuff. Okay, again, Landon, uh, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.